Hello everybody, this is Bodrich and in this video I will show you how to download uh, a YouTube video and append the YouTube uh, thumbnail. And here we can see this thumbnail here, you might recognize the style, it is from DistroTube. Uh, and look at this uh, command line here, because I was just testing this out, uh, this is like take two. Uh, this is uh, DistroTube's video here, and we can see um, that it took three seconds to download this video and append the thumbnail. Uh, and I thought, wow, that was extremely fast uh, uh, compared to my other tests here. And then I tested with one of my own videos here. Uh, I guess it's this one, uh, which is of the same, same length and probably the same size, some, something. Yeah, you can see it's only 6 megabytes and uh, DistroTubes is 8 megabytes because this is uh, video only format. Uh, but my video took 47 seconds to download this 6, six megabyte video here. I don't know if it is like because uh, uh, DistroTubes video is new here so it have higher priority or something on the, on the uh, 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 YouTube servers. Uh, and it's much more popular than my video, so it's faster because of that. I, I don't really know. But um, I think now in this uh, attempt at this video that I'm recording now, I will use uh, DistroTube's videos and not my own at all here, because uh, I don't want to use these latest videos because they are so long, so even yeah, it, the file size gets uh, too large anyways, or, or whatever. But interesting thing here, it's the same um, command, same stuff, everything, same file size, more or less, uh, whatever. Okay, so this is actually quite easy to do now when we got the thumb batter script that I added to you, uh, GitHub yesterday. So it's available here at BudLab's thumb batter uh, uh, if, if you want to use that. Um, and then we just, uh, I have created here a testing YT in my home directory here. So this is this empty directory. Then we select a video here, copy link location. Then we use YouTube DL. And here I, I will use this now only for testing here, setting the format to 243, which is a video only uh, low resolution format just to speed things up, hopefully. But uh, don't use this F243. This is just yeah to make things a little bit faster here. Uh, and then we also set the command line option uh, right thumbnail. and the URL. So this will download uh, this video here to the current directory. Let's see if this is as fast. Yeah, extremely, three seconds. And here download the video and the thumbnail. And since uh, FFmpeg thumbnailer is not active in this directory, it didn't set the thumbnail for the video. Uh, we just get this generic uh, uh, video file icon. But here is the, the, the thumbnail. So what we could do is, uh, when we got this, is just using thumb adder, uh, and then as the fir first arg argument, we get, uh, give it the video file, uh, web m, and the second argument is the, the image file, which is the same file name, but uh, with a JPEG extension. And there, now we got a video file with uh, uh, the correct YouTube thumbnail. Uh, to automate this, um, we, we, we can use uh, like a wrapper around YouTube DL. We kind of need to do that. And I have written this script here, uh, but uh, let's do it from scratch. Because there is, um, to do this, uh, we, we need to know the, the file name of the video file that we just downloaded. And, and you know, there's no way to know that uh, beforehand if you don't just copy paste the, the file name or something. Because usually when you use YouTube DL, you give it like a URL or a video ID or something. You don't give it the, the, the title of the video and you, you also uh, never know uh, really which file extension it will get. It's, it's really hard to guess the file name. Um, 
and parsing this output is not reliable either because sometimes it merges file formats and you get like yeah it, it doesn't really work uh, but I have found uh, a little workaround for this and, and that is to uh, yeah let's do this again let's uh, test it with a different URL uh, let's see if we can find one that's a little bit shorter this one copy link location uh, this time I will also add quiet option here so it will not print this information here uh, and then I also use the exec command line option which lets you execute a command after the download is finished and with the exec option you also get this special placeholder which will be the uh, file name so this now uh, the, out, the, the downloading will be quiet here and when the download is done it will echo the file name of the downloaded file to standard out so now it looks like this weird I got this job here Yeah, that was a bit weird. Let's try one more. Even if I think it worked there. Yeah, it wasn't like this. Whatever. Um, <laughs> When we got this, we can, uh, instead of just executing this, this command like this, should work now to put the output of this command, which will just be the echo of the file name, into uh, put it into a inside a variable. Maybe I don't know if it's this time one second. I don't know what why that was present there. Let's see. Let's take this one. There. Oh, maybe it's because I have already. Yeah, that might have been the issue there that I had a time time string in it. No, it it uh, did this silently. We didn't get any output at all. Now I can do echo var, and as you can see, that contains the path or the file name. But this is uh, somewhat unreliable as well, since we only get the file name here. Uh, it will always do this, it will not print the full path. And if you execute this script uh, from a key binding and stuff, it's kind of unreliable to just use the, 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 the uh, file name. We want the full path to the file. And to do that, we specify an output uh, format template here in YouTube DL, which is a different command line option here output and uh, then you can write uh, uh, how, uh, where you want to store this file so if you if we write the, the um, directory here and then we could just write file name dot mkv or whatever and then uh, the file would be named this uh, no matter what but that's not what we want either. We don't want file name, we want the title of the YouTube video and then you use this special uh, format string here, percentage, parenthesis, title, uh, s. And for extension, use percentage, parenthesis, ext, s. Uh, and now uh, it will, this thing will be the full output uh, format here. Uh, meaning it will we will have the absolute path to the video file and this is all we need uh, basically when we got this uh, then we can uh, create a little wrapper script around this um, that I had prepared here uh, let's do this so the URL variable here is equal to dollar one then we change this var to file 
Now we can change this to this. I like to have one long option on each line like this. And of course, I'm using this F243 that is just so it will download a, a video only low quality file here. You shouldn't use this, set it, either remove this or set your preferred format. Uh, right thumbnail and then the URL here. And this we can replace with URL. And here, maybe we should have a uh, variable for the target directory here. We can set that to be this. And then we do deed like that. Uh, then we can test if the file was downloaded, then the variable file will be yeah, a file that exists. You can also test that the thumbnail exists by doing something like this. Uh, file remove extension JPEG. And here we could even uh, assign this to a variable by doing this. these two tests passes then we have uh, downloaded a file and a thumbnail and then we can just do thumb adder file I IMG and then remove the thumbnail so this little wrapper script here will let us now uh, download YouTube videos. Let's try this 4chan at the command line. Copy link location and then the name of the script is uh, YTWTN YouTube with thumbnails and it only needs one argument here, the URL. So See if it works. Yeah, it downloads a file, and it uh, this is now a video file with the thumbnail. You see, these are these are just JPEGs here. Uh, this is not the the videos, you know. But this is a video with the thumbnail that we just downloaded, uh, and it saved the video correctly, appended the thumbnail, and removed the thumbnail afterwards. It all took three seconds here, which is. I also want fast download for my videos. Um, Okay, that's it. That's how you can do that. Of course, uh, you should uh, not uh, infringe any copyright laws uh, when doing this and stuff. And I hope I don't do that when I download uh, DistroTube's videos here. Uh, I really uh, think he, he have great content and especially, or especially, but a lot of good videos here lately uh, on, on this distro tube. Like, I, I really like that he's uh, moving away from, from like distro reviews and, and um, yeah, it's it's more more like uh, rising videos, uh, not that different from, from what I do as well. And I, I think that's much more interesting to, to watch than, than just uh, another uh, distro that no one really uses. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I will, I think I will do this. I will paste this uh, script in the show notes. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.